Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look at this. It's the Intel D5 4250WYK. Um, it's the latest 4th generation Core i5 4250U based NUC, uh, also known as the next unit of computing. So it's a very small form factor, little PC here. Um, this is a bare bones unit, so we're going to start off just by looking at how to add the SSD memory and wireless card to the unit and get it ready to set up Windows and get it installed to use as a fully functioning little PC. So with this second generation of uh, Nook we have a pair of USB 3.0 super speed ports on the front as you can see indicated by the blue colour just inside. Um, we also have a headphone or line-in jack um, depending on your use and also we have hidden behind this cover here um, an infrared port useful for your consumer IR if you're using this as a media center or home theater PC um, you can use that to pick up a remote control rather than having to have a separate receiver and if we take a look at the back we have power which uses the separate power brick supplied another pair of super speed USB 3.0 ports gigabit LAN, the cooling vents and then our display options we have mini HDMI and mini display port. Um, the choice of mini HDMI is a bit strange they have plenty room on the back here they could space things out slightly and have a full size HDMI port and I don't believe you get an adapter in the box I certainly didn't in this preview model um, so if you're buying one, don't forget to buy an adapter if you don't already have one. So assembly of the Nook really couldn't be much simpler. What you have is basically a few laptop components that simply clip in together and screw down to make one of the sort of simplest PC builds you can really do. Um, what we have here is a pair of sticks of memory, uh, two crucial 2 gig DDR3L1600 DIMMs. You have to use low voltage 1.35 volt memory in the NUC. You can't use, or you shouldn't use, the regular 1.5 volts um, because of the power constraints. You need lower power. See here, we simply undo four screws and pull the back off and that lets us into the system. Here we have the wireless antennas, two memory slots and then two stacked mini PCIe extension slots. The bottom one for the wireless and the top one here for the SSD. We also have a fix for the design issues in the original nooks here. We have a large thermal pad which just contacts down on the SSD to allow it to transfer heat from the SSD to the chassis to prevent the issues that the original SSDs had in nooks where they'd overheat and get drop out and fail to be detected by the system. So now if we just start off we open up our memory so angle it in, push down and then down to clip in and again for the second module push in and down. Now next up we need to fit the 7260 wireless card. So we start off by removing this screw that's used to hold the card in position. We slide back the little plastic protectors that isolate the two antennas. That's easiest generally if you connect these up first so the black we can clip it on, goes on to the main, a little bit of pressure and that clips in and then the grey onto the second AUX connector, a bit awkward here just trying to show it to the camera and that clap clips in as so. Then we feed the antennas out of the way. Make sure the aux connector comes around as well. 
so as not to be trapped under the card. Feed that round, push down, then find the original screw, drop that into the hole, and screw the card down into position. With that now in place, we're ready to put in our SSD. Again, just release the little screw there. Dig out the SSD from its little casing. And again, line up with the key slot, push down. Drop in the screw, and screw down into position. And that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple build. Now all we need to do is make sure the pad here is lined up with the SSD to make sure we have it the right way round. And screw back in the four remaining screws here to reassemble the unit. You can also uh, visa mount this onto the back of a monitor um, with the adapter included. You see we have two screw holes here for attaching that, but not a usage that I'm going to go with. There we have it, just about as simple a build as you can manage for a uh, fully functioning PC here.